The Philippines is one of the 10 biggest producers of tilapia in the world. However, production goes mainly to the domestic market because the national marketable size falls short of the global requirement for live fish and fillet-sized fish. Among tilapia breeds, the red tilapia is gaining popularity but has yet to contribute significantly to production. Through its industry strategic plan for tilapia, the Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources Research and Development or aims to increase tilapia production in pond system from 2.0 metric ton per year to 6.0 metric ton per year and produce large sized tilapia with higher fillet yield from 35 to 42 percent. These can be achieved through the following strategies which include Strategy 1 Technology development for better performing tilapia strain. This will be undertaken for red tilapia to improve its growth, survival, color, and hatchery performance, thereby enhancing its commercial value. A new hybrid will be produced through selective breeding, cross-breeding with fast-growing Nile tilapia strains and outcrossing with other red tilapia strains. Strategy 2. Another strategy is the use of phytoandrogen for sex inversion. Phytoandrogens are known to have low levels of steroid-like substances that are able to induce male characteristics. The phytoandrogens from pine pollen offers a natural alternative to the synthetic hormone, alpha-metal testosterone for sex reversal of tilapia. Trials using pine pollen extracts for sex inversion have been promising. The product in powder and tincture forms are ready for pilot testing. Strategy 3 would include nursery system for production of advanced or post fingerlings. The use of larger sized fingerlings at stocking can produce market sized fish in a shorter period. A rearing system for post fingerlings is being developed that minimizes cannibalism at this stage while optimizing feeding regimes. Strategy 4. The modular system is a promising method to produce larger tilapia. In this culture system, fish are transferred from one pond to a larger pond as the fish grows bigger. This way, fish grows bigger as less number of fish are grown over a bigger space as the culture period progresses. Strategy 5. On the other hand, the BioFlock technology offers threefold benefits high productivity, low feed conversion ratios, and a stable culture environment that allows for zero water exchange. Its application under Philippine conditions is being verified in lined ponds and concrete tanks. Results demonstrate its potential to significantly increase production by more than tenfold. Extreme temperatures during the hottest and coldest months can cause fish stress and greatly reduce seed production. The use of shades over fish ponds during the warm season to control light penetration and water temperatures is a simple method that can reduce fish stress, improve egg and fry production. This simple technique can mitigate the impact of warm and cold temperature in tilapia seed production. Probiotics are beneficial bacteria which improve microbial balance in host organisms. Probiotics given in diets or added have the twin benefit of improving fish health and water quality. They can contribute digestive enzymes to increase feed utilization, provide growth promoting factors, stimulate immune response and also inhibit the growth of pathogens. 
Prebiotics and probiotics prepared from fermented onion leaves and other agricultural wastes can help farmers reduce feed cost and increase their production. Carotenoids gives natural color and pigmentation to the skin, flesh and eggs of fish. They also have beneficial effects on fish growth, immunity and reproduction. Diets containing natural and cheap sources of carotenoids such as green leafy vegetables, annatto seeds are being formulated to improve fish growth, enhance immunity and increase feed utilization in red tilapia. In partnership with the Central Luzon State University is now pilot testing these technologies and will eventually roll them out in major tilapia producing regions with support from Department of Agriculture, Commission on Higher Education and the LGUs. Uh, I am Tereso uh, Abelia, the director of the Freshwater Aquaculture Center of Central Zone State University. At present, the center is engaged in the National Tilapia Research and Development Program, which is funded by Picard and the Department of Science and Technology. Under this program are two sub-programs, uh, and these are the uh, enhancement of red nile tilapia and the innovative approaches in the uh, nile tilapia culture. In the enhancement of red tilapia, what we are trying to do is to improve the available strains of red tilapia in the country plus also looking at the possibility of uh, importing red tilapia from other countries with the uh, main objective of uh, creating an industry of uh, red tilapia in the Philippines and uh, at the same time create a market needs for this particular species or a particular strain of tilapia. Under the uh, innovative approaches in the Nile uh, tilapia culture, we are looking at uh, the uh, possibilities of using alternative methods for uh, sex reversing tilapia and this is the use of phytoandrogens which we believe can be used in uh, sustainable organic farming of tilapia without being dependent from synthetic uh, hormones. Another project under this uh, sub-program is the development of uh, or production of probiotics and prebiotics for the culture of tilapia. Another project is uh, the refinement of technologies or uh, hatchery systems for tilapia again with the end view of increasing uh, the production of uh, tilapia fingerlings in the light of the uh, climate change in the country. While going back to the uh, Red Nile uh, tilapia, another project under this sub-program is the enhancement of uh, the uh, red color using uh, organic uh, materials like uh, plants that are good sources of carotenoids can uh, using uh, available local plants in our uh, area. With the industry strategic plan for tilapia, we'll have a sure supply of fish for every Filipino family's table.